In a concerning sign for the NRL, Caelan Ponga today said he had no idea that drinking alcohol while suffering from concussion goes against medical advice. The Night Star made the omission as he addressed the toilet cubicle controversy for the first time. This brief glimpse of Knight's teammates Kurt Mann and Kalen Ponga being asked to leave a pub cubicle has been the subject of speculation for months. Today, Ponga tried to clear up the matter and give an insight into the impact it's had on his life. It's probably one of the most pivotal moments in my life. Um, yeah, I've, I've learned, a lot from that. I learned a lot from that time. Looking forward to, to this season, I've put things in place now that'll help me be a better person and then, yeah, hopefully be a better leader as well. Can you tell us what you were doing inside that toilet cubicle, Kalen? I was sick. What were you sick from, Kalen? Uh, so, food. What isn't in dispute, Pong was out injured with concussion and he was drinking with a teammate after purchasing a property whilst his team was getting flogged by the Broncos. It was a poor look. I shouldn't have been like out or anything like that in the first place. Um, I do support the boys and they know that. They know how much I support them at all times. But yeah, I guess I, yeah, I was in, in the wrong there. Concerning for the game and his club, Kalen claims he didn't know that drinking whilst recovering from head knocks is not advised. I didn't know the effects that alcohol can have on a concussion, no. Um, obviously it's not great for a concussion and uh, it was a, yeah, like I said, I've learned a lot, a lot from that time. Now the Knights need a fit and committed Ponga to show them what the club means to him. He's making the positional switch to 5'8 and says new recruit half Jackson Hastings will be crucial to his success. It's going to give me an opportunity to grow as a player. Um, I'll be in, I want to be involved in more moments throughout a game and I think being in that position will do that for me. Danny Weidler, Nine News. He's a Tigers veteran heading into his 11th season with the club. But David Nofaluma says he feels like it's his first day in a brand new team. The star winger was on loan to the Storm at the end of last season and was pleasantly surprised when he returned to Concord. He's back in Tiger Town, but David Nofaluma feels like a newcomer. When I come back, I was in a new facility. We had new players. There's about 13 odd players that, from the last year's squad that had left, so it, it kind of felt like it was like a, a new club to me. He was only at the Storm for two months, but learnt so much in those few weeks under Craig Bellamy. I think it was something that I needed in my career, and you know, to come back, I, I, I feel refreshed in, in the mind, and uh, I think that's a, you know, a good thing for myself leading into, you know, this season. He plans to implement many of those lessons he learned, especially when it comes to building a strong team culture. No one's better than anyone. It's not an individual sport, so you've got to do it collectively and uh, just, just getting that and you know, leading, leading by my actions. Former Eel Isaiah Papali'i is also bringing plenty of big game experience with him. It's definitely different going to a new club and uh, having such a great year last year. Uh, you got to kind of got to uh, readjust and I think I've taken what I got from there and trying to implement it here so that um, hopefully in the near future we can we can do the same at this club. After revealing last year he was having second thoughts about joining the Tigers, Pabali e says he owes it to the fans to prove he wants to be there. If I can do that and, and can help the team uh, get the dub each weekend, I'm sure they'll forget, a, forget about it pretty quickly. Danica Mason, Nine News.